Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. And we are, uh, let's jump into a crack into another one. I said jump and crack into. Jump and crack in? Yeah, jump uh, and crack. So TNT, yeah. uh, we've done, I think, what, two episodes already on Diddy. We have. I mean, and it just keeps, it's like a, it's like an onion. It, it keeps, is. It keeps is, un, unraveling. It is kind of like an onion, man. So uh, some wow. stuff happened to Diddy this week. Well, you know, recently. Uh, his his homes were raided. Yeah, I saw that. His kids, kids in cuffs too. His uh, the private jet that he was on was uh, forced to land, or he was detained and not allowed to be let on it. Well, what I have, I have an interesting thing about that. Okay, go ahead. So they said originally they were like, okay, his his private jet left the L.A. left L.A. about the time the raid happened. Mm-hmm. And and they thought that he was like trying to escape to like because it was going somewhere that doesn't have an extradition treaty in in mm-hmm. with the U.S. But mm-hmm. then he was spotted in Miami. Mm-hmm. So what my thought is is he knew he you know he he knew the heat was on him, and they had it's like it's like if you're a drug dealer and like the cops come put all the drugs in the toilet. I can I can but I, I the fact is that I already know what happened to the plane. He had given the plane to one of his side girls because it was somebody's birthday party, and and he, she was taking a bunch of her friends on a trip. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, he didn't know. He didn't know. Oh, uh, okay. he didn't know. Okay, well, that's damn. why he was angry. That's why he's angry now. If he, he would, if he knew, he wouldn't be angry. Now, a lot of people have been asking why there were so many cops there. Because they're trying to bust him for sex trafficking, man. It's like a big thing. That's part of it. But the main thing is, and I want to reiterate this for all the people who are not making it clear, is that Diddy is a millionaire, right? What do millionaires have a lot of? Protection. What do you think he has? Guns in his house. Motherfuckers with no money have a lot of guns in their house. He has a lot of guns. All those guns are legal? Probably. Of the ones that he has legal, the police department knows of every single gun in that household. So if you have a household, a billionaire's household with 50 guns, a moderate amount for a billionaire, not to mention we know you have armed security because you're a billionaire, they have to take their safety into account. You can't just send two cops in a squad car to go knock on your door to serve you a subpoena. You have to be careful. So when they busted in with the SWAT team, because a lot of guns, a lot of armed guards, and they made the guards get down and, you know, and they're like, yeah. Yeah, drop the guns, drop the guns. Yeah. I mean, and that's Put the also, kids in cuffs. but when the feds are investigating you, that's how they come anyway. That is true. That is true. But in this case, we are talking and, about a person who has a large, yeah. large arsenals and in, in various different uh, locations. Yeah, a lot of it was preventative, but like a lot here, of here's security. The, the cops can still send all the cops when the feds are coming to your house to take stuff. They got a case on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's the other thing is that obviously we're talking about the feds. So they got something. But what do the feds usually do? They usually get you something small so that they can investigate. And then once they have something small on you, something just enough where you're going to have to play ball. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, well, it's I think uh, they they always have their ducks in a row before they do the raid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, so even if they find nothing, mm-hmm. they still have something. So, do you realize that uh, marijuana is still federally legal or illegal, right? Yeah, especially in Florida. So, guess what? You got a home. You got all these homes. Oh, what if we find a dr- couple drops of weed in there? Couple drops. Yo, yeah. Oh wait, California, you're a billionaire. In you California, it's legal though. Okay, okay. In California, it is legal. But oh wait, you a billionaire? You don't keep a couple drops of nothing. You don't keep a couple drops of nothing. What do you got on your private a ro- jet? A room of weed. What do you got on your private jet? Oh, you a billionaire. You can put anything you want. You've been traveling. The thing is, is that when you make as much money as Diddy had, you do get that feeling of being invulnerable, of being invincible, of being above the law, because you can basically do that with the amount of money because you got enough people loyal to you. Well, right. And you're pl- flying in private jets and ain't nobody monitoring your stuff until people are like, hey, you're trafficking people for sex. And then you're like, oh. And Maybe what, we need to look into what they're doing. And very funny, Jonas. Trafficking people for sex. We can we can visit some of the the previous cases that we've had uh, over the last couple of years with like the Matt Gates thing. All Epstein it takes, and all that, yeah. all it takes is for you to take a girl across state lines with the intention to have sex for money. 
So what if you take an escort on your private plane? What if you take that escort across overseas? What if you take that escort to a couple different states and they can prove that you took her there to do certain things? Yep. Yeah, and I, and I think I heard something, too. It doesn't even have to be for money. It's like taking them across state lines with the intention of sex, whether it's for money or not. Okay. Or something like that. So be like, it, man. So, I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like you, you know, it's like, oh, yo, hey, I know a girl. I'm going to bring her from L.A. to Vegas, and we're going to party tonight. Like, <laughs> That, that I don't know if that that sounds just like like me going on a date. <laughs> no, unless no, no, you're no, paying, but, but you're bringing the girls to with the intent of they're gonna fuck your friends. Yeah, like I mean, they're, what they're are not they... quite escorts, but like you're bringing them in the oh, intent. No, them girls like... getting paid. Look, man, I'm telling tell you right now is that the girls that f Diddy they ain't doing it for free. They do it with like even with the indication that I might get something out of it is enough. Yeah, but you know, at the same time, it's like I mean, Diddy's not like a terrible looking dude. Like you know what I mean? So it's like it's not like they're not attracted. I've to him. I've heard people say is that he's a very enticing person to be around, man, because he is powerful. He is well known. Obviously, like if he walked through these doors right now, I'm gonna be like, hey, Diddy, can we get the interview? You know, like right. I'm gonna be in all myself, and then, and then rightfully so. You know, he's 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 done a a lot of work to get to the point that he is. Yeah. But on the same note, when you do that while stepping on the backs of people. Shit will well, and come that, and that's, up. And I think that's the difference. I, I think that people view this a little differently because, like, when you think like Harvey Weinstein, like basically like Bro. forcing people to have sex with him, he's he's an older guy. You know, the girls probably wouldn't have done it if he they weren't trying to get ahead. Yada yada. Like, mm -hmm. you know, young actresses, whatever. But Diddy's like a young, decent looking guy. Like these girls mm -hmm. would hook up with him if he didn't have anything to give him or he wasn't trafficking them you know so I mean, pe so people are probably like oh they're just hanging out they're just like whatever but it can still be just as bad to a certain extent but i have to say is that they do have probable cause when you think of the whole uh the thing with cassie that happened just recently oh yeah was that with kid cuddy and blowing up his car <laughs> not to mention that everybody seems to know about the thing is, is that it kills me like I see this even in politics man it's like when you look at the January 6th thing and that happened and people are like oh they just go about their normal lives like nothing happened and then they're like oh I'm surprised I'm going to jail now motherfucker it takes time to get the case it takes time to find out where you are get the paperwork in line we're dealing with it's a precinct they have to work through the proper Protocols. Protocol, yeah. So when they heard about this, and Diddy was like, "Oh, I just go about my driving on the jet, and doing interviews, and hanging out, and laying low, and making sure my cap, my fans, no, my, they're building a case. They heard it just like we all did, and everybody's wondering how is how are they getting away with it? They're not. It just takes time. So time is just catching up, man. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, it's you know, it's really interesting. Did you see Fifty Cent's putting out a, like a documentary <laughs> or something? I was like, what is that? <laughs> So 50 and Diddy have had a rivalry for quite some time. Both very wealthy black men and uh, uh, Diddy likes to party party. Like I even heard that like Fiddy was like, I don't, I'm not messing. I'm not. He does wild stuff to the point that I don't want to be associated with. Brother, him. when it comes down to it, man, the industry got tons of stories. But if you want to stay in the industry, you don't talk. That's what it comes down well, to. Right. Yeah. Whether, I mean, whether, you, whether you're a kid on the set of Nickelodeon or you're an artist that works for Diddy and, and you see the way he is. Or you're behavior. an actress who has to sleep with a guy to get ahead. And you like most of the time they didn't talk about it because they knew it would end their stuff. Bro, I truly to this day wish that the statistics were available for amount for the amount of these actresses and female musicians that have been sexually abused. Or like I mean proposition. In, I mean, especially if you look way back in like the eighties and nineties and stuff, like before it like yeah, the shit's running rampant, man. It's running rampant. Like I said, whether you whether you're on a second set of Nickelodeon or you're in Bad Boy Records, man, it, you're not safe. So a lot of people who have known him over the years, uh, Mace has has made comments about it, and he's just like, you know, time's catching up. It's catching up with you, man. All the shit you do, it catches up. And, and when you look at some of the the incidents that have happened, not to mention the the. Uh, the guy who basically said is that Diddy paid him to kill Tupac. Now I've heard different. I've heard is that Tupac just got into a fight with the wrong guys, but there is a guy who has implicated him in that. Yeah. So 
whether or not that be true is is something totally different. But you know, they're going to investigate this, man. Yeah, you can't no, hear this absolutely. stuff and, and think that nothing's going to happen to you. It's crime. Well, it's and it's really interesting because before all this really came out, like Cat Williams went on that podcast and was like, "Oh, stuff's going to come out." Like it's like he knew things were, and he he's another person who has said like, "No, nah, I ain't messing with Diddy." Like like it's funny that you have got a lot of stories. very famous other guys who are like. No, I want nothing to do with him and what he does. Exactly. Because they know that, like, some ill shit is happening and that they don't want to be involved. And it's a thin line that, that these people have to even have to uh, have to walk. Because if you come out with your story the same time everybody's coming out with their story, then you're dogpiling. You feel worse because your story is like, oh, somebody else already came out with a story. I probably shouldn't tell mine right now. But you should, right? Well, I mean, that's the what, time. What do you well, do? Because that's the time to do it. It's like when, it when is, people but started. It is, but though, then it looks like you're piling up. Yeah, on but it does, but sometimes, especially like with the Me Too thing with Harvey Weinstein, mm -hmm. it's like no one wanted to spill the beans about him. And if they tried, they got buried. Mm -hmm. And like fi you finally see a girl come out and things start to gain a little traction. You're like, you know what? Like, I can help this. We can actually take him down now. Yeah. You know, it's like because one voice saying, oh, he assaulted me. Or yeah. 30 women saying, oh, he assaulted me. Way more powerful. R. Yeah. Kelly, same thing. Yeah. Like, it's once someone is strong enough to come forward and gets through the void of, like, they're just a this, that, discount them, whatever, then it's like, let's pile. And, like, I feel like the same thing happens. Anyone, anyone who finally gets called out for their shit, that's when it rumbles, the snowball. Yeah. But it, do it does look... Like it looks tar looks like targeting when it happens. At least yeah, to, it, to it, the public eye, it does. Oh the, yeah, it's like, like I hundred percent agree with you, but it does look. Well, you know what? But you know, part of me thinks it's like, who did Diddy <clears throat> piss off? Because it's like off? it's been going on forever. But it, and here's what I feel: it's like you get all powerful, you're doing, and eventually you piss off the wrong person yeah. who's powerful enough to be like, we're taking him down, and yeah. then. And then they start organizing how they're going to, like, bring the story out to yeah. take him down. Yeah. It's happened. I mean, I bet you some – like, I am almost – I won't say for sure because I don't know. But, like, some, I bet you something happened with Weinstein that somebody pissed off the wrong person. Because mm -hmm. powerful people protect powerful people. And if the powerful people aren't protecting you, you either did something – or it's just so egregious that, like, you c it can't – like, Epstein, no. <clears throat> when that came out, People tried to hide yeah. it, but it's so egregious that yeah. it can't be hid. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the the Weinstein. Once enough people came out, you can't hush everyone up. I'm, I'm like, not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of the cases are are that, especially it's like I, I know I spoke on the whole idea of like the uh, the statute of limitations in New York for certain types of cases that happened in the '90s. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it is very odd that they come out so much later in life. Like even like the R Kelly and the Bill Cosby. Um, well, yeah, like that R Kelly, the girl was like 14 and she's like grown. It's just grown as hell now. Like it took, took like yeah. more than a decade for that stuff to really find. And be, we heard about it when we were young, like, Oh, he did this. Blah, blah, and then like, now he's finally getting in trouble for it. 20 years later. And I don't, I don't care who the fuck you are. Michael Jackson was never found guilty. In fact, the, the two boys that they brought into the courtroom were found to be liars. So, yeah. I don't know. It seems like there's only one way to truly get a rich person out of their comfort zone. And whoever's doing it, they got more money than them. Yeah. So, I don't um, know, man. It's wild. I don't know if this is a targeted hit. And if Diddy is out there truly doing the stuff, then I hope that he gets what he deserves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If all this comes out to be true, like, yeah. oh, he's going to, yeah, it'll be an Epstein. It, it's, it's shaping up more and more to look like an Epstein esque thing, but in the <laughs> rap industry. But oddly enough, with like, like gay stuff, because there was talking about like him and Usher and him and Meek Mill and him and like you know, all this stuff. You know what dude, he's known like, for doing, man? You what? Know, you know what he's known for doing, right? Who, Diddy? Yeah. What's that? Making people have sex yeah, and watching? Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me let me set up a scenario for you, Jodis. I mean, all right, we're out of time, yeah. but let's go. Okay, you, you know, you, let me set up a scenario. You, you, you're a big, powerful CEO sitting in your office, right? Okay. Invite, I am a CEO, by you the invite way. This, you invite this guy in. You want a job? Of course he wants the job. They'll be glad to work for you. All right. I want you to let this girl SUD right here in front of me. Right in front of you, did he? Yeah, right in front of me. In fact... My girlfriend, she's gonna do it. Yeah, take that, take that. And you just doing your doing your work. You feel powerful. 
that's one of the most powerful feelings you could to ever make feel. your girl as somebody else's to date. just at the snap of your fingers make these two people copulate in a way that only two people that truly care about each other can do that's some power it's it's wild. i have to admit is that that i would be drunk with that power i don't want it i don't want it <laughs> but yeah holy. i don't know dude it's wild so that's the man i think that he is man he a wild boy i mean and he, if he's out there doing this, he deserves. We all got gets. a wild side, my friend. So you telling me you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. All right. We need to start hanging out with this guy. More. With Diddy, hanging out with Diddy. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecreation.com to subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, we out.